Board. Me too. Where's Matthew? Oh, don't worry. He's playing with Jimmy over there. Ha 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 ha! Now go and fetch this Jimmy. Come on. Hmm. Hey, I have an idea. What is it? Let's play as if we were Moses and his family. That's a great idea. I'll play the role of Moses and you can be Miriam, Moses' sister. Yes, that's fun. Alright, let's look the path. Moses always carried a stick. I need to get a stick. And Miriam wore a scarf. I'll get one. I need a long stick. Hey, that looks good. No, this is too small. I need something that's longer. Ha, that one looks good. Hmm, this is a good one. Now I'll look like Moses. Ha ha ha. God, my people are hungry. Please give us some food. God, my people are hungry. Please give us some food. Nothing. <sighs> ah. Can it be? No. George, George. Huh? So it was you who threw that stick. What stick? Oh, that one. I'm so sorry. I was playing fetch with Jimmy. That's all right. I forgive you. You what? Oh, we didn't tell you, right? We are playing the story of Moses. And who else is playing? Lucy is playing as my sister, Mariam. Can I play with you too? I'll be Aaron. Don't be stupid. Aaron was elder than Moses, but you are younger than me. Then I'll be Joshua, Moses' general. Hmm, that's a good idea. You can be my general. Now come with me, my general. Yes, master. <laughs> you I went to get this now don't I look the part you look okay so what do we do now why don't we part this river yes let me try that all right we'll follow you Lord me and my people have to cross the stream. Please help us by parting water. It's a shallow stream. You can walk to the other side. Huh? Did you hear that? God, is this, is this? Do you still want me to part the river? Father John, it's you? <laughs> Good, Good morning, morning father. father. Good morning, children. I thought it was God that I heard, but it was you. <laughs> I was just playing. So what are you guys up to? You look nice in that scarf, Lucy. Thank you, father. We were playing as Moses. I was playing the role of Moses. See the sick? Hmm. And I am Miriam, Moses' sister. That's nice. So that's why you were wearing that scarf. And who are you, Matthew? 
I am Joshua, Moses' general. <laughs> you would make a cute general, Matthew. Do you know the full story of Joshua, Matthew? Is there more? Yes, of course. It was Joshua who had led people to the promised land after Moses died. Remember? Yes, but I thought the story was over. But didn't the Israelites reach the promised land after Moses died? Yes, but getting into the promised land wasn't that easy. Father, can you please tell us the full story? Of course. Hmm, let's sit over there. Moses died before reaching the promised land. But before he died, Moses entrusted the task of leading the people to his general, Joshua. And Joshua finally arrived on the banks of the river, Jordan. Children of Israel, we will camp here at the banks of river Jordan. You can rest now. You can put down the back, my son. <sighs> huh? A boy is tired. I'm not tired at all, mother. Can I go to play now? Hmm. Please, mother. Please, please. <laughs> all right, all right. But don't go near the river. The current is too strong. Thank you, mother. Ha ha ha. Look at our boy. Thank you, God, for giving us such a good son. <sighs> what, dear? Our people should have trusted Moses. And because of what we did, we have been wandering for so long. Forty years. <laughs> this is so vast. How are we going to cross this? I'm grateful to you for showing me the promised land. Joshua. Joshua. Huh? Who? Who is that? It's me, Joshua. God? I have chosen you, Joshua, to lead the Israelites to the Promised Land. No. No, I can't. Moses was a great leader. But I... I am just an ordinary man. I can't lead them. There is greatness in everyone who has faith, Joshua. But I can't lead them. I'm frightened. Yes, you will face many dangers, but be strong and always remember that I will never leave you. And I'm grateful to you for choosing me to lead them. But please tell me God, how are we going to cross this river? The river is very swift and it's very deep too. The people camped on the banks of the river. And is there enough food as well? Yes, sir. We have enough in stock for a few days. Hmm. God will surely help us. Huh? huh? Who are you? Huh? Go away if you don't want to get yourself killed. I, I think he is the king of Jericho. The king? I am Joshua, the leader of Israelites. God has promised us this land. Is that so? Well, I am the king of Jericho and I will never let you enter. We were liberated from slavery in Egypt and we have traveled this far following God's word. Please let us enter our promised land. The promised land? <laughs> Your God promised, not mine. Now get away before I call my troops. We have God on our side. <laughs> you and your God. Do you see this river? Do you think you can cross this river? Huh? And if you manage to cross this river, then you will be facing our wall. We have the strongest wall in the world. 
So understand this. If you cross this river, then you better be prepared for a fight. Our God had protected our leader Moses and he will protect us this time too. <laughs> yes, I've heard about the Red Sea. How your God part of the Red Sea. But he has no power here. Stay away from Jericho or my army will destroy you. Joshua, what are we going to do? Don't worry. Have faith in our Lord. We will cross the river when God tells us to. We have full faith in you, sir. Hmm. But I'm worried about the king of Jericho. He's like the waters of this river. Dangerous. It's getting late, sir. We must head back to our camp now. Yes, let's go back. Joshua. Huh? You two walk ahead. I'll be right with you. Where are you, God? God! Do not be afraid of the king. If you trust me, then I will protect you. I do trust in you, Lord. Hmm. I need to know more about this king of Jericho. I have to know how huge his wall is. And also I must know how big his army is. Huh. I've got an idea. I'll ask two of my men to sneak into the city and see for themselves. Joshua selected two men to sneak into Jericho and tell him about the king's army. He also asked his spies to find more about the wall. Ouch! Why did you stop? Shh! Look over there. What is there? Ah! Hide! Quick! But King, what if those Israelites cross the river? <laughs> you really think they can? They will die if they try crossing it. Hmm, that's true. But do you think that God will help them? Nah, I think they are all making things up. I am their leader. Moses was a cunning man. He tricked those people to come out of Egypt. What was that? Food and meat from the sky? <laughs> they are all fools! I have never heard of such a thing before. But the parting of the Red Sea, there are many eyewitnesses. That must be a trick too. Now let's stop wasting our time thinking about those fools. We are getting late for the meeting with the council. Let's go. Yes, sir. Shh. Don't make any sound. Look there. Oh, the king is having a meeting with their army. Ha <laughs> ha Come on, start counting. Commanders, one, two, three, four. Foot soldiers, ten, twenty, thirty. Hoses, two, four, six. Who are you? Huh? Think we have been spotted. Answer me. Who are you? What are you doing here? We? We? Just run. Nine turns around and start running. Huh? They are spies. Catch them. Catch those spies. No! Ah! Hmm, my name is Rahab and I'm just helping you. But, but... There's no time to talk. Come this way, quick! Uh... <sighs> eh, eh, they must be somewhere around here. You, you go that way and I will go this way. Come, quick! Where is she taking us? I don't know. 
But what if she takes us to the king? What if she is lying to us? Under here, quick! Open the door. Open it. They are here. Quick, get under it. Let's go. Huh? By the order of the king, open this door. Open this door, or we will break this down. I'm coming. What is it, sir? Move aside. Where are these spies? Spies? What spies? Did you see two men running down the street? Who oh, those men? I saw them running towards the city gates. Everyone, they are headed towards the city gates. Get over there. <sighs> Rahab told the Israelites it was safe to come out of their hiding place. We don't know how to thank you, sister. Yes, it was a brave thing that you did. But why did you risk your life for us? Yes, why? We are just strangers. Everyone here in Jericho have heard about you. We know that you are coming for our land. We have heard about your God who rules the heaven above and the earth below. And we have also heard that your God is so powerful that he parted the Red Sea for Moses. It's all true, sister. Moses was a great leader and God was with him. We kind of miss him though. You must get out of town and hide in the hills for three days. Here, take this. You can use this to get down. Thank you, sister. God bless you, Rehab. You are very kind. Wait, one more thing. What is it? When your people attack the city, will you? Will you? Say it, sister. Can you please ask your men to spare me and my family? Sure. You have been kind to us, sister. We will ask our men to spare you and your family. Leave this red rope hanging from your window. It will be a sign that no one in this house is to be attacked. Thank you. Thank you so much. Joshua's spies did like Rahab had told them. They hid themselves in the mountain for three days. They went back to Joshua with their report. That's what Rahab told us, sir. Is it true? Yes, they are all afraid of us. They are afraid of our God. Let's thank God. He has done as he said. We are going to cross the river tomorrow. The next day, all the Israelites marched towards the river. Help us, God. Bring forth the Ark of Covenant. Joshua directed the priest to carry the Ark into the river and hold it there. Behold, the power of God. As the crowd watched, a miracle happened. The priest held up the Ark and God separated the water. Mother, look! Wow! He is doing it just like Moses. God is with Joshua just like he was with Moses. Thank you, God. Joshua, you have to choose 12 men. Tell them to get 12 rocks from the middle of the river, from where the priest stood. Carry them and put them down where you stay tonight. From now on, your children will ask the meaning of these rocks. You will tell them what happened here today. You will tell them about the Ark of the Covenant and how the water parted when the Ark of Covenant was taken into the river. These rocks will remind Israelites about what happened here today. Come son, quick! <laughs> Father, look at the fish. We have to get to the other side son. Now come on! 
Come on everyone, quick! Let's keep going! And so, every Israelite crossed the river. They set up a camp outside the walls of Jericho. It's getting late. We are all done, sir. That's good. One evening, Joshua was strolling outside the walls of Jericho. I have been following God's command without even a question. But how am I going to fight the king of Jericho and his army? Joshua. God, you won't need swords or armor, Joshua. You just need to have faith in me. You have to do as I say to defeat the king and the army of Jericho. Next day morning, Joshua asked Israelites to form a long line. Remember, do exactly as God has instructed. You shouldn't utter a word. You shouldn't make any sound. First, the seven priests marched to carry a ram's horn. Then the priest marched with the Ark of the Covenant. And behind them marched the soldiers carrying their arms. They marched one time around the city. Hmm, what are they up to? I don't think they are here for fighting. I think this is just a parade. <laughs> but, but why are they doing this? Uh, ah, don't worry. They are just fools. And they are walking away. Mm. I wonder what was the meaning of the all this. Come on, we have better things to do. When do we attack the city, Master? We are not going to attack it. We will march around the city again tomorrow. What? What? And remember, you must keep quiet. Not a word tomorrow. The only sound can come from this ram's horn. So the Israelites went to the walls again and marched around the city once. <laughs> Every day, for six days, they marched around the city once. But nothing happened for six days. You Israelites are fools! And the biggest fool is your leader, Joshua! <laughs> The people grew restless and on the morning of the seventh day and went to his tent. Joshua, can I come inside? Yes, yes please. Joshua, what are you doing? Our people are tired of this marching around the city. We need a soldier as our leader. Yes, a soldier who can lead us to a war. Yes, you are right. I'm not a soldier, but I have faith in our God. He won't let us down as long as we trust in Him. Today is the seventh and the last day. Who will come with me? I will. I'm sorry. We trust in Sir. All of us will join you. Tell everyone we will march today. And they did march. But this time, instead of marching around the city once for six full days, Joshua asked them to march around the walls seven times. And during the seventh time around, they did something that surprised everyone. Everyone stopped shouting. Yell and scream to the top of your voices. Your voices should raise the heavens to thank God. Shout, for God has given us the city of Jericho. What is this? What are they doing? My Lord, look, the walls are trembling. Ah, I can't bear the sound. Ah, ah the sound is shaking. More noise, yell everyone. My Lord, look, the walls are crashing. 
What's happening? Run! Run for your lives! The world is coming down! Run for your life! Jewish men and Israel brought down the great wall with their voices. A few rams' horns and their faith in God. The Israelites captured Jericho. Joshua, thank you. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me. Thank God. He's the one who did this. I merely followed his commands. Joshua, Joshua. Yes? This is Rahab. She is the one who helped us. Thank you, Rahab. Thank you for helping my people. Are we allowed to stay here? Of course you can. It will be our pleasure. Don't touch me. Stop. Stop. Keep walking. You have no right to. Uh, uh, I am the king. No, you are not. We have this land now. When I told you that God has promised us this land, you laughed at us and you called us fools. You insulted our God. Look who's the fool now. Now walk. Ah, no, stop. We are home. After Jericho was captured, the Israelites kept moving forward and forward, conquering more and more land, all because of Joshua and his faith in God. Wow, that was such a wonderful story. I'm glad you liked it, Lucy. Which story are you going to tell us tomorrow, Father? Hmm, I think I'll tell you the story of Ruth Naomi tomorrow. I'm sure you're going to like it. Come on, kids, it's getting late now. Get back to your houses. Quick, quick. Goodbye, children.